And so, as I said, as a child, Master felt this great pull of God being a realized soul, as he told me many times. He felt the pull even in early childhood. And this is what he has to say from his autobiography. Sitting on the bed one morning, I fell into a deep reverie. What is behind the darkness of closed eyes? How many times we have asked ourselves that? The light shineth behind the darkness, but the darkness comprehendeth it not. It's there, the light is there, but we have to penetrate it, penetrate the darkness. So he said, what is behind the darkness of closed eyes? This probing thought came powerfully into my mind. An immense flash of light at once manifested to my inward gaze. The silvery beams expanding in ever-widening circles of infinity. That's the light beyond the atoms. Space itself is none other than that light, and there's no end to it. What is this wondrous glow, he asked. And the voice came to intuition, I am Ishwara. That's the creator. I am light. The voice was as murmuring clouds. Then Master says, I want to be one with thee. Naturally, that's the pull of God. Out of the slow dwindling of my divine ecstasy, I salvaged a permanent legacy of inspiration to seek God. Once you contact that, you can never let go of it. That's the power of God. That's why it's so important to know God. Do your prayer. Do your yoga. Know him. Make acquaintanceship with him. You'll never leave it. Because the pull is too strong. That's love itself. God is love, the greatest force in the universe. And so out of this slow dwindling of my divine ecstasy, I salvaged a permanent legacy of inspiration to seek God. Now you may not see those things perhaps at first, but that inspiration is there. It's in the soul of each and every one of us because we are a ray of God's presence. And we must satisfy it sometime. All must return home to God.